All right, we're going over how to add memory to a Lenovo. If you look, you have a bunch of screws here. One, two, three, four, five, six, I'll say seven, eight screws, nine. Oh, there's a bunch of screws on the back. You have to loosen all of them first, so I'll do that. I'll be right back. All right, one thing I forgot to mention, you need the right screwdriver. Um, this one I like best because it's got this little piece in here. Um, so it gives you a good grip when you're trying to loosen the really tight screws. And if you see, the screws stay in there. This one's loose already. But they stay in there so you don't lose them very easily. So the next step is to get the back cover off. I'll show you that in a second. So this kind of tool is essential for this because you don't want to scratch the case. You kind of get it in the front part here, and you kind of just spread it apart until you get everything loose. You'll hear it crack like that, and then you go back the other way, and then you just work your way around that. If you ever took a bicycle wheel apart, it's similar. Um, I'm not going to show you all that right now, because it's hard to do with one hand. Oh, no. All right, once you get the cover all the way off, and it's definitely a two-handed operation. You'll see inside here, it's pretty simple. This little piece of plastic covers up the memory slots. And then it's literally just a matter of you take the memory. Now, if you look, that little slot here is off to one side. You make sure it's going in the right way. See the way the right side is shorter here than the left side? So that means my memory chip just has to be flipped over. Kind of clip it in there, put it in on an angle, and press down. That's it. You've added more memory. Just a matter of putting the cover back on and screwing it all together. As it's booting up, you hit the Enter key, and it gives you the Setup window. You can just hit F1, which will go into the BIOS, and you just want to make sure you're showing 16 gigs of RAM now. The laptops will come with 8 gig, and you just added a second 8 gig chip. So if you look right down here, it says installed memory 16384. So you're good. Just hit escape, and it'll go back into the, uh, oh, actually F10. And it'll save and exit, and Windows will boot up. All right, have a good one.